Since the time of the Romans, men have laboured deep underground mining for coal. Much of it lay beneath the Durham landscape. It provided the essential driving force behind the Industrial Revolution. The end of mining came in the 1980s with the clash between unions and the government. Within 10 years, the last deep mine in the area closed and thousands of men lost their jobs. Some pit heads have been preserved, such as here at Beamish, but only as reminders to tourists of that industrial past. That's the history of the lamp. We've been using it from 1812, 1811. The cage protects the glass, the top protects the gauze. But the longest lasting event for the workers themselves is the annual Durham Miners Gala, also known as the Big Meeting. It was first held in 1871. A mix of family fun, working class politics, and miners' pride. And I'm here from my dad, Billy Yard. He was a pitman at Kello. He sat in Colby Kello pit for years. And I used to come in here since I was little. And I've always come in and I'll keep it going for as long as I can for my dad. I love coming here, I do. Absolutely love it. And it's, it's, for, the, it's for the miners. I'm here for me, my family to stand for them, you know, my dogs. The bands always bring a few teas as well, it's just like that, you know. The only cancellations in 151 years were for two years from 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic. The subsequent reunions at Durham Gala 2022 were welcomed with the biggest gathering in decades as more than 200,000 people packed the streets of Durham. <laughs> Although it had been a generation since the pit closures, the crowds proudly came from old colliery villages across the northeast, complete with 60 colliery banners and 50 brass bands. They gathered at various points along the main routes into the city, before heading to the waiting crowds in the centre. Gala has always had a strong left-wing political character. Important Labour guests are invited to speak at the final rally and are initially greeted on the balconies of the Royal County Hotel. The streets of this ancient city are narrow and the three approaching the hotel have tight corners. Colliery bands and their followers were very strictly marshalled to ensure that each had their moment of glory in front of the hotel. The pavements were packed with spectators, enjoying the atmosphere and cheering on the parade. One route is via Elvert Bridge across the River Weir. It was originally built in 1160 and is only 10 metres wide. This bottleneck was soon jam-packed with the noise and bustle of those determined to have a good day out.
As each band moved on, they left the road clear in front of the hotel as a stage to entertain everyone with a variety of different musical styles. A hush fell. Everything became still for the playing of the tune Gresford. This is known as the Miners' Hymn, in memory of the 266 miners who were killed in a colliery explosion in 1934. As one of the world's biggest left-wing rallies, the gala always attracts protest groups with multinational struggles, demonstrating a universal solidarity for human rights. Some banners were raised in memory of historical casualties. Some remembered the struggles of the past. Some looked to a better future. And some people just sang. Finally, the crowds moved on to the old racecourse ground on the banks of the River Weir. People relaxed after their long march. Banners and instruments were set down, although some musicians still took the time to practice. Soon, the crowded field looked like a blend of funfair and family picnic. Eventually, all eyes turned towards the stage, as invited speakers shared their political views. As could be expected from such a selected group of militant speakers, there was a similarity of style and subject. Let's build collectively and be willing to fight for more. That's the story of our members, the story of working people who built everything that's great about this country. Our fight, our promise to the next generation. The main speaker in 2022 was Mick Lynch, Secretary General of the RMT Union. Thank you very much. We must campaign and fight in every area of this country. We must make every worker a member of a union, every member of a union an activist, every activist a campaigner. And if necessary, we have to turn every campaign into a coordinated programme of strike action so that we can win back equality. Rise up! Solidarity!
Today has been fantastic. Absolutely brilliant day. It just reminds us of times gone by when we've come here for years since we were kids and it's still going strong and I think it's getting bigger. There's more banners every year. It's brilliant. But this place inspires me every time I come. I can honestly say it's one of the best days of the year for me. So I love it. I'm, I'm getting excited for next year now. Now, all the crowds needed to do was to find their way back home.